Hi, I'm Dixie with Vitality Natural Wellness, and you've probably just gotten your peptide treatment. You might be a little bit nervous if you've never done self-injections before. That's understandable. You'll be a pro in no time, but we'll walk you through it until you get there. Um, there's lots of different peptides, and there's different ways um, that you would utilize them. Some come pre-mixed, and they're pretty simple. Um, the administration is basically looking at your dose drawing up what you need and giving yourself that dose. But some peptides require a little bit work, more work on your end. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Both peptides are administered the same once you get the dosage just right. So there's three things that I want you to keep in mind about your peptides. First of all, always keep them cold. Um, I've just brought mine out from the fridge. So I have them with an ice pack. So if you're doing any traveling, you need to make sure that you travel appropriately. Keep your peptides cold. Second of all, never vigorously shake your peptides. They're more fragile than some medications, so take good care of them. And then the third most important thing that you know is your dosage and understand your dosage and how to administer it. So we'll kind of go over that when we break open this needle. And if you're ready, here we go. So when you left our office, you left with a box of alcohol pads and a box of needles. Let's go ahead and take our alcohol pads out. I'm gonna pull out two and set those aside. Then you've got your box of needles and they're small needles. Go ahead and pull those out, set it aside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my alcohol packages and Set those down. Now with one I'll just push to the side and with the other one I'm going to go ahead and clean off the tops of my peptide and my sterile water. We're using for a mix video to show you how to do the preparation tesmorelin. So we're using sterile water that comes in your package with the tesmorelin and then the tesmorelin medication or peptide itself. I've cleaned off the tops I'm going to set them to the side. Now, I'm gonna pull off my plunger cap. That can be discarded. And then I'm gonna pull off my needle cap. I'm gonna go ahead and push my plunger forward to get any excess air out of there. I've cleaned off my tops already. So I'm just gonna take my needle and insert it right into that center bullseye of my sterile water. I'm gonna invert it and I'm gonna draw back just the right medication. For tesmorelin, it is 0.6 milliliters. So I'm gonna draw back to the 60 unit mark because you got 100 unit or one milliliter syringes to take home with you. So the 0.6 milliliter is to the 60 unit mark. Now, this is already cleaned off as well. I'm going to take that sterile water and insert it right here into that bullseye and press down gently. Now, speaking of gently, do not vigorously shake this once you get the sterile water inserted. Some medications, um, when you have to mix them, you do shake vigorously. We don't do that with our peptides. We're going to be very gentle. There's one area here where I can see through the label right here. If I still see any particulate matter, I will very gently do like this. The place where you will typically see that will be under the stopper area. Um, but after I do that, I'm gonna place it down and I'm gonna look right inside that clear area and make sure that it's crystal clear and ours is. So it's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn the alcohol wipe off over and wipe that side again. Pull my cap off of my needle, insert it right into the center, and I'll be pulling every bit of medication I can get out of here. We know exactly how much sterile water we put into our peptide, which was our 60 units, so that's exactly what we expect to get right back out. And I'm gonna get all the way to the last drop. And bullseye. 
I'm gonna tap it just a little bit and make sure if there's any air, it gets brought up to the top. And then I'm going to push my plunger just to make sure my medication is right there. This is ready. It's just administering. So I'm gonna take my opposite, the other one that I pushed back, my alcohol pad, pinch up a piece of loose fat, usually not too hard. Try to find a roll, an area of fat that's below the belly button, if possible. I'm gonna pinch that up, clean it off. Set that alcohol pad out, and I'm gonna take my needle, and in a 45 degree angle, I'm gonna come into my skin, and then I'm gonna push down on that plunger. As that plunger is going down, you can go ahead and release. And once you're all done, you can put it away into a sharps container. And you just did it, your first peptide treatment.